Come and feel really beautiful in my wedding dress. Coach doesn't pay the dress that I wanted, but in the end, we found a beautiful princess style that goodwill. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice, with air conditioner. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy that I make it up with Debbie, and I feel that she will support me today. But honestly, I'm thinking about what happened with John. And I told it to John to don't come to my wedding. But John and Leah is the only family that Debbie and Coach has in Vegas. So he might come, and I don't know what the little snake you say against me. And if someone attacking me, I'll attack back. Hello, folks. Papa Ron here and my daughter, Trinda. And the big day is here, Trin. Larissa is finally getting married. And what's interesting about that is that they just had that big arrest. Wasn't it the night before this? Yes. That, that uh, Colty, she was flying on a, a fit about something. Colty calls the police. They come out. And procedure is that if they get called to a domestic violence case, that they arrest, even if it's the state that is now pressing charges and not the domestic partner, which would be Colty. Well, because Col ended up calling the cops back and saying never mind don't come and they still showed up so now he's not charging her the state of nevada is so how did she get bailed out that night by colty it was supposed to be a 48 hour hold but she ended up getting out 24 hours or something well like i that. did see the clip where she locks herself in the bathroom and he's trying to coax her out you know he's always his demeanor is always this perfect level you know i never raise my voice i never whine i'm just his demeanor is always right even keel so he's trying to coax her out, and she gives him the old uh, up yours. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, what are we setting up here? The first clip? Yeah. Where she's at the makeup, getting her makeup done and stuff. And I thought you had a comment about her dress. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I love when she's coming out, and um, she says that she got her dress at the Goodwill. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, first of all, who would want to tell somebody on national television they got their dress from the Goodwill? And you can't even tell, of course, it's beautiful. But it's just funny that she says it like like it's nothing, it's you know. It's just another place to shop. <laughs> <laughs> what gets me is you know Colty's hands in this. That yeah. guy is such a tight A. I just yeah. can't believe it, you know? Yeah. know. Anyway, let's run with the clip. I walk into the chapel and I see Colty and his mom. And then I see John. I'm shocked. I have no doubt that John and Lee against me. If John wants to argue to me today, I will defend myself. But when I look at Colty, I realized that the more important is I feel really happy and um, completely in love. I feel relieved to finally get married. Thank you, friends and family. You may be seated. Cold, Marissa, stand right here, right now, at the very beginning of an amazing adventure. Wow, Trish, she does look good in that dress. I mean, she's her fa face is on her. She looks really good. But uh, the one thing, folks, that we're not showing you is that Colty went ahead and invited his cousin John and his wife to the wedding without telling Larissa. Now, I don't know where these guys are and what Looney Tune city they <laughs> live in. But honestly, the only reason I think he ought to invite John to this wedding is so he could smack him upside the head 
for disrespecting his wife at the party and all. I, I don't know yeah. why he keeps thinking he needs to match these two together. I know what he says at the wedding that he wants to, he needs a wife and not some child that's going to fly out of her temper. Man, she had every right to fly out. She's the queen. I mean, <laughs> well, no. And what the horrible thing to me about it is, is she's walking down the aisle and you can just tell that she's nervous at her own wedding. And so she's walking down and seeing if he's in the audience. And of course he is, you know. Like, you shouldn't have to feel stressed out like that at your wedding. How could she not see him? There's only six guests there. Oh, my gosh. Is that not crazy? They ran out this huge place, and then there's, like, five people in each wedding. Well, that's how you know that that's why they're on the show. Yeah, why don't they just go to a justice of the peace and do it? It's like they spent all this money to have six people come and view this. I know. And then where did this guy get his suit? Oh, my gosh. Okay, when he is like standing there, he has a wedgie. His pants are way too small. They're screaming, I don't fit you. It's just so bad. <laughs> he must have bought that suit 10, 20 years ago. And well, and then John's outfit, hello, board, like swimming trunks, they look like with a work shirt. Oh, John, yeah, I know. Yeah. And it's just not just a wedding, but it's a wedding that's on national television. You think you would have dressed up nice. You know, you're going to be on TV. Hello. He's probably advertising for the company he works for. <laughs> <laughs> but there's another there's another clip that we didn't show, and that's where both John and his mother don't know how to tie the tie. Oh, my gosh. He looks it up on YouTube. <laughs> this guy's a good he looks it man. Up on tie tie. Okay, I just want to say my favorite thing about the whole wedding was definitely Colt's suit. Like, you see him standing up there, like I said, and it's wedged up his butt. <laughs> you can see his whole face. Like, don't you normally go get your, your suit tailored, you know, and like to fit you? Especially, like I keep saying, it's on national television. It looks like he's had this suit for... 15, 20 years. It, it, he at least could have went and rented a tux. That's not much money. I know. You know. He saved a bunch of money on going to the Goodwill. for. Maybe he <laughs> bought his suit at the Goodwill. Who knows? Yeah. They went shopping there for their wedding. That's hilarious. I, I just don't get... And, and I know she's got a lot of problems, too. But I don't know what she sees in this guy. Yeah. Anyway. We wish him the best. And... Uh, Trent has been in correspondence with him a little bit on Instagram and stuff. but So we got one couple married out of the show. And uh, I think they're planning to be on Happily Ever After next season. And we yep. still got the tell-all coming. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be there, folks. Thank you. Good night.